second. But I just wanted to touch on what you said earlier about uh, Drake May. And I thought that was like an interesting criticism. You said that he wasn't tough in the pocket. And I remember you said in the past that guys that didn't really have pocket awareness, it's either you got it or you don't. And is do you do you think that a guy like Drake May or just any quarterback where the question about them is their toughness, do you think they can ever overcome that? Are there examples no. of quarterbacks overcoming that? No, I mean, <laughs> Derek Carr, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean he, 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 he might be fringe top 10, right? I mean, yeah, but is he ever going to be top five? I, I mean, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. To be honest, yeah. that's my Ross Drake May, and I even told Matt Holder this. I even sent him a video. I'm like, who does this look like? <laughs> oh my god because yeah. oh, drake may be having the happy uh, feet sometimes i tell you I, I don't know why people just ignore this when they watch drake man yes i mean you watch go watch the clemson game. just watch it the happy feet he gets hit early in that game he's like 16 for 36 it is there like there's happy feet just inaccurate throws him feeling pressure georgia tech he has like the some like seven of the most incredible throws you'll see and then he has his the ugliest intentional grounding because he doesn't want to be hit. And and that and that's my thing. Like, okay, mm. like, sure. Are you going to make some crazy throws? And we're going to see all these Twitter film analysts, even when he's in the NFL, just overhype him because he can make those crazy throws and we're going to see them yeah. when he has clean pockets and maybe he gets out of the pocket or whatever. But it, it's to the point where, like, if you aren't tough, though, in the NFL, let, let's keep it real. If you aren't taking – you got to be able to take that smash hit in the face, throw it – under pressure and be why well, you get smashed. You see all the great quarterbacks do it. Um, yeah. You know, you see Josh Allen do it. You'll see Patrick Mahomes. They'll take that big hit. Patrick Mahomes takes some big hits in the pocket and throw a laser right to right to Rasheed Rice's hands. So those are those type of things you, in the NFL. That's what is different from college to the NFL to me is you know the toughness in the pocket and it, it is important because the offensive line are not good right now. You got to have a guy who can move. Okay, uh, I'm mm. not going to say that, but still at the end of the day. You have to have a guy who can stand in there and is not not has no fear at all and could take a hit and, and drive that ball. And I don't know if Drake May is that guy. And, so so yeah. that, that's that's my thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, but J, yeah. that's why I like JJ because JJ will do that. JJ will stand in there and he'll see a blitzer coming right at him. And he's gonna throw that dig. And, <laughs> and, yeah, man. And that's that's, what, that's, that's a good like point, that. man. That's a good point because I th that that's what kind of stopped Carr from ever being great. There are maybe points at times where you could be like, oh, man, he looks pretty good. He, he, great at times, but then he can never get – he can never go get over to that next level because, like you said, like that toughness factor. People had questioned – I mean, you, you got players calling him out, like like literally saying it to his face in press conferences. Like Joey <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bosa literally calling him soft. Like uh, We knew once we hit him a few times, he really gets shook. And, and you saw on, on CeCe's sack, he was pretty much curling into a ball before we even got back there. So – um, great dude, great player. He's been having a great year, but we know once you get pressure on him, he kind of shuts down and he's not as effective with the with the crowded pocket. So uh, that was that was the key. Yeah. I mean, it, it hit him. He's, yeah. Now go ahead, you know, man. His I mean, own teammate Khalil Mack just laughing while Joey Bosa's joking. I think I, I forgot what it was, but it was. Who is the hardest NFL quarterback to take down in the pocket? And then can you give me one who's just easily foldable like a lawn chair? Dang, that's easy. What are you gonna say? Uh, dang, who you said? Uh -huh, I, I, have a, I have one. I have a hard. I have the second one in my head. But I don't know if you want to say it. You see? <laughs> Might throw some shots at your your boy. You know? I don't know. Hey, man. I'm not messing with you. I don't want to get in trouble again. I'm not gonna try the one on the far left. Oh, you're going? Okay. Go with nah, a different I, one. I feel like I should. Yeah, Just eat a one, wing, right? bro. Yeah, I'm going to eat the one. Eat the one. Eat the middle. Eat the middle. Going for the middle. <laughs> Just because I know I know you wanted to answer that one. Boy. <laughs> That's the best that. people off again. I'm going to pass that question to you. Because they know. Right? They know. They yeah, know he's soft, man. Yeah, they know. Yeah. It's the difference between Drake May and Carr, though, is Carr will check it down. Drake May will just run into a sack. He'll just, like, run out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But people see Drake so you, May. And they okay. see 6'4", 230 with with the with the cannon, and you're like, oh, we we can we can we can do. It. It's like uh, we can do something. With it. It's like Gruden and you know what's what's old boy that threw like eight interceptions in the game. And he's like, man, but this guy's rocky. Oh, like, man. yes, man. It's like yes. It's like but this guy has a, he has a cannon. He's 6'4", 230.
Like, man, you know, they think he's going to be Justin Herbert or, or Josh Allen, and I personally don't see it. Yeah, yeah it, 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 to me, it's just where his ceiling is. Like, do I really see him in it? being a fully top 10 guy and i don't know not without like a great offense not without like the top five offensive line in the, in the nfl where he's comfortable and because he, he has a first round wide receiver that's the thing in secret people don't talk about it a lot uh i forgot the guy's name right now but you know, he's Walker. really ranked uh, yeah t- yeah Chaz exactly Walker. uh-huh yeah, yeah. That is, that so is beast exactly and drake may didn't do a lot with him right um so, so mm. You know, and you know, because Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas are uh, for the LSU, they're both first round picks. And you see what Jaden Daniels yeah. did with those guys, right? Exactly. So, and, and Brian awesome. Thomas wasn't really on the radar last year as a first round pick, right? Mm. And this year, you know, with the, along with the development of Jaden Daniels, he's now considered, a, you know, a first round pick or at least a fringe first round. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he actually, was, he's ranked really high for um, a lot of draft boards, but yeah. He, I mean, th- that's what I'm saying. You have those type of players, you should be balling like that, especially in the ACC. But we'll see how that goes. Just win, baby. Hello? Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it.